Hello and welcome back to the BS Review. It has been a hot minute, but we are back today with the Top 5 Battle and we have a very special guest, Larry from LC Screen Talk, and we're actually in his home filming. Oh, <laughs> we came yes. all the way to Denver just to see Larry. Oh, I feel so special. No. <laughs> so thank you for letting us use your setup and everything because we drove here and so filming setups don't travel well in cars. <laughs> But today we are going to be doing a top five battle and we are going to be giving our top five lists of trilogy finishers. So this is the third movie in a trilogy and how good it is. The rules are as long as it's the third movie, it's fine. If there's four, seven, eight movies after that, it still counts. So I'm going to kick off our number five pick and I'm going with Indiana Jones, The Last Crusade. Okay. I know not a lot of people love this one out of all of them, but I like it. Who doesn't love this one? I don't know. I've heard a few. Ooh. Fight me in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> so at number five, I went with Captain America Civil War. Oh. So the only reason I have this down at number five is because as a trilogy finisher to the first two Captain Americas, eh, not great. But as a film, it would be it would be higher up on this list because I love Captain America: Civil War. But yeah, it's the the third. Uh, I only wanted to include one MCU uh, <laughs> third on this list, so Iron Man three. Obviously, you were you were not really in the running. <laughs> but Thor Ragnarok was was close. But Civil War is the best. I honestly didn't consider Marvel movies for this list because oh, they all enter no i didn't know. because they all intertwine so much i didn't really think of them as trilogies but it works it makes sense i, I just didn't think of it i agree though that as a trilogy finisher it doesn't necessarily feel super yeah. like this is a trilogy in the end of his arc because he shows up in multiple movies after it kind that. of feels like uh, <laughs> the avengers 3. well my number five pick is star wars return of the jedi oh. so this actually came in at number five and I base my list just on, I think, nowadays what I enjoy it. I would say out of everything on my list, I've probably seen this film the most. So it has to get a spot on my list, but I put it at number five because I think compared to some of the others, I don't know. There's a lot of Star Wars films now, and I feel like for how good this one is, it gets like weighted down just a little bit by the newer movies. So at number four, I'm pretty big animation fan overall, so I have Kung Fu Panda 3 at my number oh, four. Oh, that's a good one! Because I think it's a great finisher to the Kung Fu Panda trilogy, which is also a pretty great trilogy in general, actually. I think it's a little underrated, a little people kind of just overlook it, maybe the Jack Black factor, maybe it's because it's DreamWorks, um, but it's certainly a stronger third film than Shrek 3, um, <laughs> and I can't really think uh, any of the Madagascar films, no. no. We'll see if How to Train Your Dragon 3 maybe tops Ooh. it for and becomes the new best trilogy of DreamWorks, but at, at this point My I hope. think it's the best, so I really, I thought it was really sweet, all of the adoption themes, it, it really worked for me, so. If you ever, if you've watched some of our videos from our Spooktober Halloween, we consider the Jack Black effect to be a positive aspect yes. of most films. Oh. So I think Jack Black is hilarious. <laughs> and I do think Kung Fu Panda is an underrated franchise. I think it's one of those franchises like that trilogy. It maintains its quality throughout mm -hmm. all three movies. It doesn't have a huge dip like a lot of other mm -hmm. movies, trilogies do. And I think the second one is the dips a little bit. I think it's worse than the first and the third, but then it it builds back. I up would agree, but it doesn't trilogy. have that like steep drop oh, off no. that a lot of trilogies do with number two because no. that tends to be a running theme, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. Mm. All right, my number four pick is The Dark Knight Rises. Oh, I knew this was going to be on your list. I it thought had, it'd be higher. It had to be on my list. <laughs> it hit the number four slot because overall this is a really good trilogy, but I think that. The third movie is probably the best, like, just Batman film out of it. Everyone gives The Dark Knight a lot of cred, and I think it's a really good movie, but I think as a, like, a pure Batman film, I think The Dark Knight Rises is actually a little truer to his character and feels more like Batman and not as much just like a detective. So I'm going to follow Larry's lead with the animated movies and go with Toy Story 3 for my number four pick. I think that this is a great what was going to be 
the last in this series, but is now not. Uh, I think it rounded out the storyline really well. I feel like it it grew with us as a generation to the point where, you know, Andy was in the third one and how he was growing up and moving on. And it just hit me in the feels very hard. It's a good one. You have to be soulless if it didn't hit you in the feels. Like That's true. So coming in at number three for me is actually Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Our, lo our lists always end up overlapping somewhere. We are the same person. Yeah. <laughs> but I think this was just so fun. It's my favorite Indiana Jones movie, actually. And I think it closes out the series great. And who doesn't love seeing Nazis get defeated? That's true. So my number three pick is going to be Star Wars Episode Six. I think that this is a super fun one. What is that? Phrase? I mean, continue. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I really like it. I know that a lot of people think it's cheesy and lame, but I personally really enjoy it because I love small creatures that make funny sounds. It's like my bread and butter. All right. So for my number three, I put War for the Planet of the Apes because I loved it. <laughs> I'm so upset I didn't I think didn't about this. I didn't even think about that trilogy. <laughs> uh, we just watched uh, yeah. them all too. <laughs> Like another really great trilogy that I think would rank among some of the, the top tier trilogies of all time. It's not my favorite in the trilogy. Uh, the second one is my personal favorite, Ooh. Dawn. Um, Third one's mine. <laughs> but War is really good. It's really emotionally resonant. It's just sophisticatedly made. Uh, I just, yeah, I don't know that they could have capped off this trilogy much better than they did. So I have it up at number three. I also love that this film calls back to previous Planet of the Apes mm -hmm. films, especially the originals, yeah. uh, way more than any of the other oh, ones. Yes. They have a lot more callbacks. They bring in characters from the originals. They change them up a little mm -hmm. bit, but it's definitely a lot more of those pieces. And we have a full review up of this one, and I think we just consistently gushed about it through the entire review, <laughs> and I am very angry at myself for not thinking of it <laughs> for this list. Yeah, definitely made my top 10 of 2017. The lower end of the top 10, but it was still up there. I really loved it. And some of the best visual effects oh, so good. in any movie. Robbed. I love Blade Runner 2049, but the fact that this trilogy never won best visual effects is outrageous. It's, a <laughs> it's insanity. Everything looks so realistic in that film. So I'm going to switch genres here that we have not discussed yet. And for I'm going to do a horror genre, and I'm oh. going to do Scream 3. Oh. oh, because <laughs> I just think it's a lot of fun. Uh, I think it's one of the, it's when it starts getting really meta in that series. It's when they really go hard on the meta and then it just continues for the rest of the series. And I know that Scream is not a trilogy, but it's the third in the series. And I just have so much fun with it. And it's so lame and so cheesy, but it's great. <laughs> it's funny. That was a, that was quite the shock. I, I wasn't especially at number two. I don't know that I was anticipating Scream Three. I based my top five list off of pure enjoyment, not necessarily critical acclaim. And it's just one of those movies that I have a lot of fun with. I also have fond memories of that because okay. the first time I watched this series, we watched it together while we were both sick with like horrible sickness for like a week and a half that we kept passing back and forth to each other. And all we did was watch all the Scream movies for the first time, and it was delightful. I mean, just off the top of my head, I don't know if I could think of a, a third in a horror franchise that would come close. So I was just like, Ugh. uh, clearly Halloween three season of the witch, <laughs> <laughs> but it's not a part of the same storyline. Oh gosh, I feel <laughs> gross just for saying it. Okay. So at number two, I have one that was already mentioned. As I said, I love animation. So Toy Story three is my number two pick. I just. I think it's amazing, and I honestly wish they weren't doing Toy Story 4. We'll see. Uh, that first teaser trailer did not instill hope in me <laughs> with what is to come. But the third one is just so good, and they ended it so beautifully. I mean, it's the perfect cap to the trilogy. I don't really know why they would go on. I'm hoping Tom Hanks has some credibility with this because he has said that it's really, really it made good. made him cry. He was yeah. like emotional. <laughs> yeah. So I'm hoping that my trust in him carries through with this film. Yes. But I'm questionable. Just a little. <laughs> yeah. But regardless of how that fourth one ends up, this third one is a, a great end cap to a trilogy. So my number two pick is... Avengers Infinity War. Oh. oh. So, technically a third in a series. I know it's really like Avengers like 4.5 or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's why I didn't include on mine. Otherwise it would have been or way, way higher. One or but I don't care. It's the third one, third Avengers film, and it's excellent and just, I waited like my entire life for this moment. 
for going to see that, and it was the most beautiful experience of my entire existence, almost. almost. The reason I didn't include this one is because the fourth one is a continuation of the yeah. third one, so I feel like... If we were to redo this list after the fourth one comes out, I would almost put like three and four together, depending on how four goes, mm -hmm. because it's basically one big long movie. Well, to break the fourth wall, before we filmed this, I was making my list, and she was like in another room, and I was like, even if there's one coming out after that that is like the continuation of the story. I thought you were story, talking about Toy Story. No, and I was like, <laughs> a continuation of the story, but is still technically the third one, can we do that? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, okay. So, <laughs> I mean, it's your list. There are no hard and fast rules with top fives on our yeah. channel. So, as long as you can justify your reason, you're solid. <laughs> well, I had a lot of honorable mentions. <laughs> there's so many good trilogy cappers, and actually, quite a few that have been said on lists. So, I had The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, it's, it's my least favorite, though, of the, the Nolan Batman trilogies. I didn't quite make it on. <laughs> um, as I mentioned before, Thor Ragnarok was definitely on there. I think it's the strongest of the Thor films, and he's my fave on the Avengers, so he almost made it on. And then I have two Star Wars <laughs> oh. in my honorable mentions. So I do have Return of the Jedi because as maligned as the Ewoks are, I will agree, I love it. they're fighting, mm, we're stretching George Lucas, but they're so cute. So cute. <laughs> but honestly, I know I'll get hate in the comments, I'm rocking a Star Wars shirt to say this, I prefer Revenge of the Sith to Return of the Jedi. <laughs> Look at you two. <laughs> uh, it is, uh, maybe it's because I grew up with the trilogy, but Revenge of the Sith was like top tier below Empire in the first and I think it's still around there but I love Revenge of the Sith the cheesy Darth Vader no and all uh, so it was it was sixth place on my list for my number one pick it's a little bit of a stereotype it's a little bit of a cliche I think it's Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. All three of us have the same time. <laughs> number one. Yes. yes. We do not discuss our list beforehand, but I knew without a doubt that we were going to have the same number one. Yeah. I, I don't know how you... It's hard to go with anything else, I think, at this point. It's, it's such a well-made film, period. It's just... It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It emotionally resonates. The action is great. I mean, literally, I don't think that maybe you could say it ends too many times. Too oh, many yes, endings. I would agree with that. <laughs> uh, that's really the flaw of it, but I, I, I mean, it's, it's almost perfect. It won 11 Academy Awards for a reason. That was one of the times I'm like, Academy, go for it. You Give them incredibly. all of the awards because it deserves. I don't know if there's much more I can say because that is also my top pick. Uh, it's great. It's visually great. It has so many storylines that they have to keep track of throughout the trilogy, especially the extended editions. I love the extended editions of this trilogy. It's the only way I'll watch it, unless it's like showing on TV or something and I just turn it on. But I think that they wrap up so many different storylines so well, despite the multiple endings. I still feel like they wrap up everybody's stories great. I love the little like um, epilogue at the end that they do with everybody and where they're at several years later. It's just warms my heart and just was everything I wanted at the end of that series. I just don't think there's a better crafted trilogy. If you can think of one, you can name it, but you're wrong. But you can still name it. <laughs> I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. But this one's just excellent. Great. You have to, like James Cameron trying to replicate this formula with the like continuous filming to... We'll see the final product, but so far, questionable effect uh, with all these delays. It just, I mean, it's just, it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> and it's so interesting that that trilogy is the oldest of all the Lord of the Rings franchise, and the Hobbits kind of suck in comparison, which is disappointing, especially when it comes visually. I think that was my di biggest disappointment mm -hmm. with the Hobbit movies, was the visuals were so subpar compared to the original. It's just insane how different they are. And they confused that last film, at least, for The Hobbit, the, the Battle of the Five Armies. They confused mm -hmm. just nonstop action and nonstop fighting with epic scale and epicness. <laughs> I think Peter Jackson lost a little bit of that vision he had with he his original He trilogy. lost his subtlety and finesse yeah. in that one. I agree. So that wraps up our top five trilogy finishers. I don't know if there's a better way to phrase that, but that's what we're calling it. And uh, I think it's really funny that all three of us had the same number one. <laughs> Clearly we have good taste. And we had a lot of different ones that intermixed in our list. So that was really interesting to see where all of those fell. Uh, so I had a good time. I hope y'all had a good time. For sure. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more top five battles from us, give us suggestions down in the comments because we've done a lot at this point and we would love to know what you want to see. And if you want us to collab with any specific YouTubers on that, also let us know that. 
Thank you, Larry, for having us. Certainly. Thank and you for letting us letting use all your things. Yes. <laughs> Had a lot of fun. Good. So uh, I think that's all we got for you guys today. Please subscribe if you like us. Go check out Larry. We will include all of his links in the description and tag him up in corners, all the good stuff. We very much enjoy his channel and enjoy him as a human being. Otherwise, we would not be in the same room. <laughs> so we highly recommend checking him out, and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye!